All right, back again, Luke here. And today I just got a package in the mail and uh, I figured I'd open this up here and show you guys what's inside it. This one came from Australia and it came from a YouTuber who goes by the name of Raised by Dingoes. <laughs> Pretty awesome name there. And uh, the package that he wanted to send me was actually something that I needed. It was a part that, um, if you guys remember a video that I put up all, a little while ago, or actually I didn't really put it up, it was more or less uh, Ian, uh, goes by the name of Stuff I Wrote. He put up uh, his video about his um, Sega Saturn that was in need of some help, and I sent him out the power supply, so this is kind of like the continuation of that. And then uh, Raised by Dingoes asked me, uh, you know, if, uh, if I needed a power supply, so he sent me one out. And I believe that is, we'll see what this is, maybe this is it, dun dun dun, the magic unwrapping, still checking, <laughs> this is, this is interesting, Whee! come on! Wow, I never expected newspaper to be so strong. It's just like it does not want to open. <laughs> Alright, so here is, uh, here is the power supply that he sent out. And this power supply looks like it might be just a little bit different. Um, there may be some components that are different on it. This is uh, Ian's old power supply. So what I'm going to do is try and swap out a couple of parts on this and put them over onto this one here and see if we can't get this one to fire on and hopefully get this one to work and uh, try and slap that in the old Saturn and see if we can get the Saturn working again, at least get some power to it. But uh, as for which components are blown on this one, I haven't had a chance to really look at it uh, too much, but we'll go around it and take a look and see what we can find and uh, I'm guessing maybe, doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah, I'm not too sure. I'll have to go and check. <laughs> we'll go around it and take a look at it and see if we can find it. But uh, it might be one of the transistors on here. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool right there. And yeah, what is this? Here's a note. Hey mate, here's the PSU. Hope you get that other Saturn put together. Uh, thrown in a little something extra. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> awesome, man. What is this? Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I love me some Tim Tam. This is awesome. <laughs> Got a pack of Tim Tams. Very, very cool, man. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you so much for uh, for the power supply here, and I'm going to try and see if I can get this power supply to work. But, well, once again, huge thanks to Raised by Dingoes, and uh, let's jump on this and see if we can't get this thing to work. So, there we are. All right, so uh, what I've done here so far is I've done a little bit of desoldering, and uh, I wound up desoldering this power switching diode that I found uh, that was on uh, the old one, Ian's old one, and uh, I believe this is probably going to be the uh, the cause of it right now. So I've desoldered the other one off of uh, this board here that I got from uh, Raised by Dingoes and uh, I've removed that there and uh, I've removed this one here as well this is the old one that was on here and I've replaced it on this one I've also replaced the uh, capacitor on the side here with uh, a new one so you can see there was a little bit of some burn marks down there from where it was uh, popping fuses so hopefully that will uh, that'll correct the issue but we'll uh, I'll solder that end on there that I need uh, in order to get it back in the Saturn then we'll plug it in and see what happens. Uh, I went around these contacts on the bottom here a little bit and uh, tinned them up just a bit so hopefully that'll all work out alright but let's uh, get this thing back in here and give it a shot. All right, so I got this thing fitted back in there. The cable's a little bit short here, so it's kind of putting a little bit of pressure on this board uh, when I put one of those screws in here, but it's, uh, it's at least in there right now. I haven't tried it out, but I figured we could try and give this a shot here. And I think what I'll do is, 
yeah, I need to try and put this thing down a little bit. So, let's see. But I don't want this thing to ground out. That should work there. All right, let's see if it uh, if it pops. Whoa, sure did. <laughs> that was a pretty big pop. <laughs> Wow, what is going on with this thing? Well, we'll uh, we'll definitely give this one more shot here and see what else is going wrong with this. But obviously, that wasn't it. So let's uh, try this a little bit more. <laughs> Whee! All right, so uh, here's the the fuse here from the last uh, little pop that we heard. And uh, I started removing components off of this thing to try and see which ones were bad, which ones I could test out, and uh, yeah, maybe swap out with this other power supply here. And as I was going around the board, I, uh, you know, I was checking around. I thought, you know, maybe it was one of these capacitors around here. And I don't know how I missed it, but uh, I actually, I had to do some lifting. But, ooh, as I'm dropping this, as we take a closer look at this little guy, you can see this capacitor doesn't look so happy. And uh, what this has basically done is, um, you know, it's created a bridge between the hot and the ground. You know, normally a capacitor itself should have, uh, you know, uh, positive and negative, but this one has actually bridged the two points together on the bottom here. And uh, that's what's, I believe, that's what's causing this thing to pop. So let's try and uh, remove this one here, try and switch it out with uh, this one here, and see if we can get this thing running again. So I'll be back here in a second. Okay, so uh, I got everything kind of put back in there. Uh, you probably can't see it too well, but uh, I replaced that uh, other ceramic capacitor in there. Haven't turned it on yet. We'll see if it pops a fuse again, which it might. Who knows, but uh, let's give it a go. Oh, well, it's starting to uh, to twitch a little bit there, but uh, it's kind of turning on and off. So, huh, that's odd. Maybe we got some other bad components. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's acting like it wants to turn on now. That's uh, a good thing. Let's go back over those old components and uh, see what we can swap out. <laughs> the never-ending uh, battle with this thing here. All right, well, let's give this thing a, another shot here. I went back over uh, some of the components on the bottom of the board here. They look like uh, there were some dull solder joints up here that uh, were connected to the power. So let's see if this fixes it. I haven't uh, had a chance to turn it on yet, but let's give it a go. Anything? Well, this thing's showing power, but this thing's not turning on. Mmm, interesting. You can see there the power light's on, but the uh, access light isn't. That's really odd. Never seen anything like that before. Huh. Not the cable. Mmm. I don't know. Might have to, uh, Mess around with this a little bit more. That's weird. Normally uh, the splash screen would come up there, but uh, it's not doing so as of right now. So, very, very odd. You know, if I hit the switch, turn it off, and then turn it back on again, you guys can see for yourself here that it wants to turn on. Uh, I don't know why there's no splash screen coming up. Do, do, do. Okay, back to the old uh, drawing board with this one, but at least it's getting power now. That's good. <laughs> There's just no access light going on. Let's uh, let's continue the adventure. <laughs> okay, well, I found uh, something that might have been my problem here. <laughs> might have been my fault. This uh, ribbon cable here was detached from the drive, just completely detached. <laughs> it must have just popped out or something like this thing being all loose and uh, whatever must have just fallen out. I don't know. We'll give it another shot here. And, uh, yeah, I'm just putting this here to, you know, prevent it from grounding out. I haven't, you know, I'm not going to put this thing back together just yet until I know if it's working correctly or not. And so, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look the best. Let's plug this thing in here. 
Okay, that's plugged in. Let's try this again. Yay! All right, it's alive. <laughs> That's what it was. Nice. So that uh, that ribbon cable on the drive definitely is, uh, yeah, <laughs> the issue why it wasn't uh, clicking on here. But you can see it's got power again, and that's fantastic. And uh, that was all thanks to uh, Raised by Dingoes here for those parts. And if we come back over here, da -da -da -da, can take a look at. Uh, this piece here so in the future if uh, any of you guys wind up uh, plugging in your Super Famicom or not your Super Famicom your Sega Dreamcast or something like that into uh, mains or into a, uh, a socket that's in the UK you can see here and as I was uh, twisting this to get it out you can see the other side cracked as well so you can see this thing was burned straight through and it's a, a disc capacitor, ceramic disc capacitor, and that's what the uh, that's what the problem was. It was just uh, melted those two points, the hot and cold, or the the negative and the positive points, are just melted together, causing the fuse to blow. So, yeah, check that uh, on your Sega Saturns if you uh, if you wind up doing that, and you might be able to get this thing back up and running. Now, uh, the one problem with this one is it doesn't have a, uh, a working laser in it, so I have this old laser that I've had for years. I mean, you can look at the bag. It's been uh, in my parts for a long time, and I haven't checked it, but um, it was in a plastic bag, so I'm assuming when I put it in there, it did work. But this one that I, I have in here, that's the other one that I took out and put into the white Sega Saturn. So we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can get this one to work here. We'll give that a shot. And uh, let's try, let's try and make another vid here. <laughs> okay, well, I uh, I went and I took the uh, the old laser mech off, and I put in the other laser mechanism that was in there, and neither of these seem to be doing much. <laughs> so I've already uh, started this thing up a couple dozen times here to see if um, if I could get things to work, but the uh, the splash screen, you know, that's still coming up like fine. You can see it's moving up and down, but. It's not doing anything, so I got a couple of dead lasers here. What I'll eventually do is probably just pick up another laser for it, so, and, uh, yeah, get it running. But at least you can see that it's starting, which is a good thing. It just uh, will not read any discs, unfortunately, because of the bad laser. But happy enough to have this thing running again for the most part, and, uh, yeah. That's about uh, enough rambling for me, but hopefully you guys found this video a little bit entertaining. And uh, yeah, like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching.